really? Lily lives in a, an institution in a mental health center. Uh, she has an issue with psychosis and with a co-occurring disorder um, of intellectual disability. Uh, as a result of which, she's lived in this mental health center, that's the Banyan, for about 15 years. Now, she's experienced a fairly good quality of life. She has friends. Uh, but unfortunately, she hasn't shown too much of progress, neither has she had the opportunity to entirely participate in society. And now picture this. Lily today lives in a little house with four other friends and a personal assistant who supports her and negotiates her way, way through society and the neighborhoods. Uh, she thinks the house is hers, or rather she realizes that the house is hers. And she refers to it as Yenvide, which means my home. When you look at homeless people with mental illness in India, there are very limited options. Either they are uh, they get into mental hospitals, or um, you know they get into relief and rehabilitation centers under the Beggary Act, and uh, or they just uh, you know the society is just apathetic to them, and uh, they remain homeless for the rest of their lives. So either uh, it's a choice between incarceration for life or you know, dying on the streets without somebody even paying a second thought to you. And it is in this scenario that the Banyan started our transit care centre where we uh, offer rescue services for homeless people with mental illness and we reintegrate them back to their families once they're able to get back to their bearings and they achieve some sense of recovery uh, on their own personal terms. But we see that even in a facility like the transit care centre, even if we, the hardest that we try to sort of get people back to the sort of lives that they want to, there is a population that remains behind. No matter who you are, you certainly want to get back to a home of your own. You want to sort of pursue life at your own pace um, within your own set of choices and not be constrained by um, schedules or uh, any other structures that are essential for offering acute care. She has neighbors visiting her, she has kids from uh, the community visiting her and interacting with her. They all sit down in the evenings and watch television together. When I used to visit her in the mental health center, she would refer to me and say, hey, I want to go to the beach, I want to go to the beach. And that would be a repeated refrain, which she would. And yet she would just continue with the same phrase over and over again. Different people have different ways of living in these homes. Uh, in a typical day, you may find one person drawing column outside her home while her friend is getting ready to go to office and yet another person is making the morning tea. Each one has their own activity. Some of them like to do a vocational training activity. Some of them really go to temple, darga visit and sh go for a shopping, goes for a movie. About two years back, we went and we asked uh, all women who had lived in our facility for a year or more and who had not sort of found uh, their uh, exit pathway out of this institution. We asked them, um, hey, where do you want to be? Do you want to continue to live your life in this particular facility? Or do you think you'd like to move into a home in the community? And for those who made the choice of saying that I want to go to a home, I want to see if I can live life outside, uh, irrespective of uh, whether they had clinically limited or not without judging their community readiness so to say we said you know we'll rent a home for you in the community we'll offer you an on-site uh, you know personal assistant to assist you with your daily life and to assist you with things so that you're able to live the way that you want to home again does just this it provides a house to people like Lily and as a result of the house access to many support networks so in scientific terms based on a community integration uh, scale that we applied to understand how effective the change has been in terms of social inclusion, the effect size was fairly significant, which means people like Lily and 60 others who transitioned into these rented homes that are in the community have experienced, as a result of the multiple transactions that they've been exposed to, significant amount of social inclusion.